Is your shopping trip the most dangerous thing you could do today? Every year in the UK, there are at least 450,000 cases of food poisoning, with some estimates for infectious intestinal diseases being more in the region of 17 million cases, or around 25% of the population. 80% of reported cases are caused by just one type of bacteria, Campylobacter. It's present in around 70% of all fresh chicken sold in the UK supermarkets today. But you don't just find Campylobacter on chicken. A recent Food Standards Agency report found that up to 7% of the outer packaging of chicken sold in supermarkets also tested positive for Campylobacter. This means that if you put chicken in your shopping basket today, even if you cook the chicken thoroughly when you get home, you could have picked up Campylobacter on your hands from contaminated outer packaging. Although the FSA study detected relatively small amounts of bacteria on outer packaging, it only takes a very small amount of Campylobacter to make you ill. Once it's been transferred from the fridge onto surfaces, utensils or hands, it can be spread to other surfaces and even directly onto ready-to-eat foods. Campylobacter twists itself into the lining of your intestine and once there it releases toxins that produce strong stomach cramps, vomiting and diarrhoea. This mode of action can take four to five days to embed in your stomach lining, and because of this, its effects on your body are not immediately obvious. Campylobacter is also very difficult to remove from the body, and it can stay with you for anything from four weeks to six months or longer. In extreme cases, it can cause paralysis or even death. This delayed action also makes it very difficult for you to identify when and how exactly you picked up your food poisoning. So if you became ill on a Saturday, which are you more likely to blame? The food and drink you ate on a Friday night out? Or the midweek shopping trip to the local supermarket? With what we know about Campylobacter, which do you think is the most likely? To help reduce the incidence of food poisoning caused by Campylobacter, it's important to know where the danger lies and how it can be avoided. We know that we should never wash our chicken in the sink before cooking because that spreads bacteria around the kitchen. And we should wash our hands and disinfect utensils thoroughly. We also know to cook chicken thoroughly so it's steaming hot and not pink. So if handled correctly and treated with respect, the bacteria on chicken shouldn't be a problem. But what about that real chance of picking up food poisoning from the outer packaging? If you were buying fresh chicken from your supermarket, would you even think about washing your hands when you leave the store, just as you might do when visiting the toilet? Think also about your bag for life. One week you could be using it to carry home your fresh meat, the next week your loose vegetables, the week after your clothes. Between shopping trips, germs like Campylobacter could hang around in your bag, waiting for a host to cross infect. Biomaster has created a new industry standard for the antimicrobial protection of the outside of chicken packaging to protect the consumer from the risk of Campylobacter poisoning. This technology is available for film, trays and lids. They've also developed the Biomaster antibacterial bag for life, available from your local store soon. It inhibits the growth of bacteria in your bag between shopping trips. If your shopping trip is not Biomaster protected, ask your local store why we'll find a store that is. Biomaster, protection against the dangers you can't see.